morning. Um, yeah, let's start. So I'm an MYP design teacher. When I first started teaching, I had to figure everything out. I think it's the purpose of the MYP to make the teachers get MYP'd first. And uh, so I went through and I tried to put in all the things I'd learned, all the things from my masters, all the teachery stuff we're supposed to do at school, and create the perfect unit. So I did, and I filled out all the boxes, and I made this great unit. The kids were going to look around in their lives and find something that was wrong, and they were going to fix it. It was going to be awesome. Find a problem, fix it. I thought, it's personal. It's going to be great. And they made a lot of boxes. <laughs> it was... They made it, there, there were some cool things. There were some challenges, and there were, some kids really took it on, but there were a lot of kids that kind of figured out, hey, I can just make a box, and this will, you know, kind of see me through. And I just felt like there was something more that could happen that would make them all really want to do something more than a box. And I couldn't understand why. Uh, anyway, I was confused. So I changed my plan. Imagine a disaster. We're going to fly in a plane. The plane will have 3D printers and water bottles. Figure out a problem, solve it with that. Send them a disk. OK, it's an SD card, or we could email it, whatever. And, uh, and, and whatever you put on that plane with those water bottles and the 3D printers is going to get printed. One made a garden. It can move with a family as they're moving from conflict. One made a <clears throat> body lice removal device. <laughs> this paper was really fun to read, I have to say. Um, and, but thinking about this, in order to make this, she had to figure out how all these parts would work together. It's all separate parts. This isn't one thing. All of them had to come off the printer working exactly no, nothing could happen after it came off that airplane. It just had to go into the printer, come out of the printer, and work. And it did. And, uh, well, I'm not really positive about the body lice part, but <laughs> the spinner works. <laughs> Another one was thinking about people who are trapped and uh, end up losing limbs and trying to figure out something that could kind of cap a limb. And there were a whole lot, when we started this unit, um, it was during the flooding in Texas, and there was some uh, flooding in Asia as well. So kids were really finding a lot of stuff about flooding, and they were really interested um, in, in helping people in those situations. And what was really interesting about this is that for the first time, they were actually thinking about how much things weigh, how to measure things so that if, you know, will a baby live? was a question you'd hear popping up around the room. They were all really into it and really concerned that these people that they were going to help weren't going to survive. Now, I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure neither of these things would really do it, but they at least got so much closer than they were with a box. The other thing I saw is that they started sharing and collaborating on their ideas. When they were solving their own problems, they weren't feeling comfortable figuring things out together because it was almost competitive. Now, it wasn't set up that way, it just kind of worked out that way. But since they were all putting their stuff on a plane to help people, it sort of seemed right that they could help each other. And with this one, uh, one of my students figured out that you could make kind of a, a, a ring and then the, the bottle top screws on top and then it's a solid hold. And then other kids saw that and were like, oh, can I use that idea? So he gave them the dimensions of the ring, off they went, and they made totally different things using the same concept. This happened a few times. Um, a lot of them did more kind of fitting into things, and then some figured out how to screw the bottles into something else, and then they shared the parameters for that, and then other kids did other things with that. And then other ones figured out the clipping thing and where on the bottle you need to clip it. Um, and you can see the testing kind of wasn't so good for the bottle. So what can I take away from this to share with other teachers? Because I thought I had created a nice personal learning unit. It's totally about them, about their lives. They get to pick what they do. And it just didn't really engage. And here this unit was about strangers far away. And somehow everybody was engaged. And everybody made really great stuff. 
So I realized the first thing is that inconveniences are not real problems. Things happening at your school, they're not real problems. They're not things that kids are really going to get their teeth into, and they're not good projects. Well, okay, they could be. The second thing is, kids love a catastrophe. I know it's sick, it's gross, but it's true. <laughs> In fact, we all do. I mean, we're fascinated by the news, right? We watch, we're, oh my God, is how, can you believe this is? And something about it made them more engaged with the whole project. I think it, I don't know, hit, hit, hit the right place. The other thing is that when you know a little bit about something, it's easy to not actually try and find out anything more. But with these situations, they knew nothing. Nobody knew how to float a baby. This is not in their wheelhouse. So they had to research things, and they were like, wait a minute, I don't know, how, how much does a baby weigh in a couple? Oh, my little sister, she's about 10 kilos. But then they'd end up having to research all sorts of other things. How big is a hand? How do you find out how big a hand is? They found out a lot of websites offer a lot of really bad information. The other piece is that when you are reading about things, it's engaging your imagination and it's also engaging your empathy. And there's something about that process, about really thinking about what's happening for someone else. It makes you kind of feel all the feels. When you don't know You find out. And of course, making a personal connection at a distance seems really strange, but with these guys, it happened. Not with their friends, not with their neighbors, not in the classroom, not at the school, but with strangers that they didn't even know their names, somewhere far away, trying to survive something catastrophic. So that was my takeaway. No matter what you do, no matter what you put in that box to make the perfect unit, the thing that you really, really, really have to do is engage them here. Thank you. <laughs>